Hey everyone, this is Colton Locke, aka Funtivity Colton, here with another Single Tracks gear review. Today we are out here checking out the T1 pedals by HT. And if you've been keeping up with the reviews, you've probably seen these and the last couple of things we've done. Let's take a peek. Now, if you missed any of those reviews, I'll have links in the description so you can check those out. Spoiler alert, one of them was the Gorilla Gravity pedal head, which I absolutely loved, and you've gotta check that video out. I'll have a link right here for you. Be sure to check that one out once you're done checking out the HT pedals. The HT T1s are made of CNC machined aluminum and come with Evo Plus bearings. They're almost identical to a Shimano XTR. They're 68 millimeters by 83.5 millimeters and are thin at 16.8 millimeters tall. They've got eight replaceable pins, which I really love, and they come with two sets of cleats, four degree and eight degree, so you can really set these up to feel how you like to be clipped in. They come in an 11 awesome colors and weigh in at 368 grams a pair, plus an additional 64 grams for the pair of cleats. And our price at $135. Now HT is becoming extremely popular because some really big name riders like Aaron Gwynn are choosing to run these pedals on their bikes. The retention system on the HT T1 is very similar to a Shimano clipless pedal, although they seem to be much tighter. I really like that it comes with two pairs of cleats so I can get the feel I'm looking for, and I crank these about halfway, whereas compared to my Shimano clipless pedals, I crank all the way up, and they still don't seem to feel quite tight enough for my riding style. Now I really like that these come with pins. We talked about how extremely slippery these carbon soled CDs are and I seem to slip all over the place on my Shimano pedals. I was getting a lot of that nasty shin bang and it was really starting to frustrate me. But these pins, even though there's only two on each side, really seem to make me feel more confident on the pedal and I feel like I'm slipping off a lot less. I've been really pleased by how tough these HTT ones are. I cracked a rock on one of my Shimano SPD pedals and cracked the bottom retention system off so that side was no longer usable. These things have taken some really hard hits. I've been riding out here in really rocky Colorado as well as out in Moab and I've struck them on a couple rocks. They seem to be holding up well. There's one specific instance that really stands out in my mind. You know when you catch your foot on a rock or a root and you wobble, your foot might come out and you know, you're fine. Well, I absolutely demolished this pedal on a rock coming down a fast, steep descent. It was one of those times where your life flashes before your eyes and I thought this thing was for sure shot. I had to stop to regain myself afterwards and lo and behold, this thing is totally fine, good as new, a few scratches, but I'll take that. I've been extremely pleased with these HTT ones. I really like how tight my foot fits in there and I really like that they're a little bit less expensive than a Shimano XTR. But there's two things that bum me out. First, they get extremely clogged up, I found. Of course, any clipless pedal is gonna get clogged up. Shimano's do as well, but I find that with one swift kick, I can clean them out pretty easily and clip right back in. These guys, I have found that is really tough to get them to free up the mud and the snow, and I've even had to stop to clear them out a few times. And the second thing that bums me out is that I've been running Shimano SPD head pedals for about 15 years now, and like a lot of you, I've got a handful of different pairs. I've got them outfitted on all of my bikes, including my road bike, which I know is against the rules, but I don't really care because I love having one pair of shoes that I toss on, I can pick any of the bikes from the garage, and I can just roll. And I just don't really like having to waste time changing cleats depending on what bike I'm gonna ride. That being said, I have been extremely pleased with these, and I think they're a phenomenal option. I really like these pedals on full suspension trail bikes because of the platform they offer. On this specific bike, my cross-country race bike, I prefer to run the HTM1s, which are their ultralight race pedal. They weigh in at a 
mere 252 grams. So if you're looking for something along those lines, be sure to check that out. So thanks for hanging out with us today and checking out the HTT1s. I'll have a link in the description for you if you wanna take a look at where you can purchase them. Of course, click this link right here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Of course, follow me on Instagram and Strava at Funtivity Colton. Thanks so much for hanging out today. We'll catch you guys on the trail. Yeah.